In this video, we'll look at how to track email and website engagement, one of the success with autopilot journeys. This journey allows you to track how contacts engage with your emails and your website. By assigning scores to contacts based on these interactions, you'll be able to sort your leads and successfully target hot leads to reach out to. This journey has been broken down into two sections, email activity and website activity. Let's look at email activity first. This will establish updating fields in your contacts information to enable you to quickly identify when they last opened and clicked an email, and to provide a score based on that activity. To start this journey, an email activity trigger has been configured to add contacts every time they are sent an email. Using the Any Email option will allow the trigger to fire every time a contact is sent an email. You can always select a specific email to track to score more specific engagement. An update field action shape has been connected to the trigger to update a contact's details. We've used the personalization variable today, so that field will update to note the last date an email was sent to that contact. Following this, a change score shape will change the score of number of emails sent field by one for each email sent. In the next section of this journey, another email activity trigger has been used, this time configured with opened any email. From here, contacts will have their last email opened field updated through the update field shape. This will enable you to quickly look at a contact's information and quickly compare the last email sent to the last email opened. We have also added change score shapes to capture the number of emails opened in the last 90 days. You can then compare that field to the total email sent field, highlighting a contact's engagement rate. After a 90-day delay, we use a change score shape to reduce the score in increments of one. This degradation factor ensures that the field will always represent activity within the specific time period you have specified and the delay. We have also added a change score shape to provide an engagement score increase of three every time an email is opened. After a delay of 60 days, we then change the engagement score by reducing it, again by increments of three, using the same degradation factor as before. For the last pathway in the email activity section, the setup is the same as the previous shapes, but this time all shapes are configured to follow the activity of clicked emails. With the change score value increased to five, contacts who click on your emailed content prove to be significantly more engaged than those who merely open it. You may want to adjust this number to suit your click-through rates. Assigning a higher score value will enable you to identify your most engaged contacts and follow up faster. The second section of this journey looks at website engagement. Set up the same way as the previous shapes, other than the trigger, this pathway will track visitors to your web pages. Using the page visited trigger, you can select any page or specific pages to be tracked for engagement. With the change score shape configured to increase a contact's engagement score by one for each web page visit, a delay of seven days allows your team enough time to track the most recent highly engaged contacts in a specific amount of time and follow up with them. The same degradation change score shape has been used to complete this pathway, as we want to reset a contact's engagement if they have stopped browsing and interacting with your website. You can set up multiple pathways with page visited triggers to individually update a contact's engagement score for each website visit, or you can connect all the triggers into one journey pathway. By using these journeys for tracking email and website activity, you'll be able to successfully build a foundation of contact information that can be used to surface hot leads or improve your lead scoring intelligence.